Is full body tracking worth it? I just debuted in my 3D VTuber model and I was able to do this with just this. There are so many different types of full body tracking out there that it can be pretty difficult to choose the best one for you. Now, before all the elites in the comments section spam their actualies, I know you don't need to have full body tracking to be a VTuber. You can literally just throw something together in Vroid Studio, plug in a webcam or your Xbox camera, and then start VTubing in minutes. But come on, that feels so limiting. Also, do people really VTube with their Xbox camera or like Nintendo Switch controllers? Cause uh, if you do, let me know in the comment section because I have many questions to ask you. Like I know there's programs out there that also let you animate your 3D model or do some hand stuff with a webcam. But honestly, having full body tracking for VTubing just hits differently. We're gonna take a photo together, okay? All right, all right. Say cheese, chat. Say cheese. Uh. <gasps> oh my gosh, look! It's me and my friends. That's you, chat. Look, see, you're right there. Don't make, don't make fun of me, okay? Don't make fun of me. So I used to be the kind of person that always wanted to VTube in 3D, but I didn't have a couple of thousands or so dollars to spend on the majority of 3D equipment just so I could step on my chat in VR chat. Which, by the way, I still don't have that kind of money, so please subscribe because I'm tired of eating the $1 ramen noodle packets that you get in the discount aisle. But seriously, why is full body tracking so freaking expensive? Everyone wants to have a setup like Code Miko until they find out how much it actually costs to be Code Miko. You see, usually you have to spend over thousands of dollars on either a suit or a bunch of these bulky trackers wrapped on your body. Good luck setting up those base stations if your stream area is about the size of a closet. And don't even get me started on the poor souls who are trying to solve math equations just to set up these bulky IMU trackers just so you can make your model do this. Well, what if I told you that you don't need to do all of that because thanks to Sony, which is a uh, titty sponsor by the way, you can get full body tracking for your VTuber model without needing to set up base stations or spend a buttload of money on a motion capture suit. Introducing Makopi! These tiny little discs are the only reason why I'm able to crawl out of your bed and bother you on your desk. These are the exact same full body trackers that your Oshi from Hololive uses, by the way. Remember that time when Ina showed us her back? Yeah, she was using Makopi during that. Thanks, Sony! They're portable, easy to connect through their Makopi app, and you can even use them for VR chat. They're IMU trackers like Slime VR and Haratora X, except that, uh, you can actually get your hands on these little bad boys. Now, the thing about IMU trackers is that they're not going to be as accurate as having that full-on motion capture suit or Vive trackers or Tundra, but that's because this is a product that is a cheaper alternative for VTubers who want to do things in 3D that don't require base stations or having this really complicated setup just to start streaming. They are only a fraction of the price of motion capture suits like XNs and they don't require a base station like Vive Trackers. So now you can finally have your VR legs without the stress of setting everything up. Just strap them on, connect them, and you're good to go. Also, Sony is constantly improving the tracking accuracy on their product and they've taken a lot of feedback from what other YouTubers have said. So all the elitists that are just ravenous at the mouth right now ready to just tear this entire video apart, relax. This is a product for people like me who want to have our own VR legs without the stress of setting everything up from all the other complex tracking systems. I spent the last couple of weeks testing out Makopi and if someone is smooth brain like me, managed to figure them out, then you can too. I have a full tutorial on my VTuber Academy channel if you want to learn more about setting up Makopi for VTubing, or you can check out Sony's page with this QR code or use a link in my description to learn all the information about Makopi to see if these IMU trackers are good for you. Thanks Sony for sponsoring today's video. I personally think that if you're going to invest a lot of time into VTubing, especially 3D VTubing, then you should definitely consider getting full body tracking. Now, you don't need to get an expensive mocap suit right away. You could just start off with your webcam or phone and then work your way up if you decide that this is something you really want to do. But honestly, all I've ever wanted to do is smack my chat around when they're being sussy. Okay, do you know how hard it was for me to grab my camera in VR chat because my headset couldn't figure out where my trackers were? I found out that after my 3D debut that uh, 
you're not supposed to play VR in the dark because the headset you use needs the lights or to figure out where your controllers are. Like, no one ever told me that. Also, there are so many fun and different ways to play around with your 3D model. I just can't believe I never got into this sooner. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna be honest with you. I never got into 3D VTubing because I thought I was too stupid to learn how to do it. Listen, trying to scroll through YouTube search engine looking for a tutorial that isn't two or three years old just so I can learn how to convert my model from a VRM to whatever VR chat supports was incredibly stressful. Thankfully, my 3D modeler was able to jump in voice chat with me and walk me through holding my hand through each and every step on Discord because yeah, these outdated videos were uh, definitely outdated. Thanks Ice Mega for helping by the way. You know, no matter what option you go with, you're going to be spending a lot of time learning about 3D modeling and setting everything up to be, you know, compatible with whatever tracking software or hardware you're using. So if you're thinking about focusing on 3D VTubing content, then you need to seriously consider what it is you want to do in 3D because that's going to depend if full body tracking is worth it for you. So if you're still struggling to decide, then ask yourself this, what do you want to do in 3D? Like, are you gonna be mostly playing VR chat? Then I don't know, maybe you should just get a VR headset like a Quest 2 or something, I don't know. Do you wanna just play games and maybe have your model's hands move around a little bit? Then uh, maybe a leap motion might be a good option. Another way I've thought about this question is like this. Do you want to just have a webcam, you know, chilling and constantly dealing with whatever this is? Or do you want your model to be able to do things like this? And oh yeah, um, I can still do this. <laughs> I can still do that. Yeah, what do you think about that? Listen, there are so many different ways to VTube. So don't let Elitis tell you how you should go about your VTubing journey. I've been using a Live 2D model for the past three years and I never really got into 3D VTubing for the longest time because, well, I don't know. It just always seemed complicated to me. But after trying out Makopi and having a lot of fun on my 3D debut stream, it made me realize that I think I actually like 3D VTubing more than Live 2D. Now, don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean that I'm abandoning the Live 2D route, but I'm definitely going to be making more content in 3D because I had a lot of fun hanging out in VR chat despite having an incredibly embarrassing experience on my very first time playing VR chat, but I'm not gonna talk about that in this video. <clears throat> Anyways, I'll probably be using Makopi as my main full body tracking since again, I don't have enough space for base stations and I really like the portability on these IMU trackers. I want to eventually learn how to incorporate finger tracking with Makopi because I have a leap motion and it would be really cool to point at my chat and call them a baka. But for now, I'm pretty excited to try out some other content ideas that I've always wanted to try. I hope this could give you some insightful information if full body tracking is worth it to you because it definitely is for me. Thanks for watching and remember, everything reminds you of something. Oh, and if you want to see how my 3D debut went or, you know, listen to my embarrassing story about my first time in uh, VR chat, then um, check out either of these videos here. Bye!